All right, welcome to the Tail Rotor Basics. Uh, in this playlist, uh, there's going to be two videos, possibly three. We're going to talk about uh, the basics of tail rotors. And I do a lot of uh, support calls on tail rotors, and this particular video is going to solve probably 40% of them. The next video is going to talk about gyro gain, and that's the other 60%. So hopefully with these two videos, anybody can watch them and diagnose their problem uh, without making a phone call. Not that I don't like talking about gyros. I love talking about gyros. But a lot of times you can't get a hold of me, so hope these videos help. Now we're going to make sure the tail rotor is set up physically correct. All the helicopters I'm going to talk about today have main blades that turn clockwise when you look down on the helicopter. And when I say left, I'm talking as if I get small and I get in the cockpit of the helicopter, I'm looking forward. So left is my left and right is my right. So you'll notice that the blade that is closest to the canopy is going up into the rotor wash from the main blade. So the downwash from the main blades is actually increasing the airflow over the tail blades. This is the way your helicopter should be set up, but check your manual and make sure you got it set up properly. I think just about all of them are like this. Since we're talking about helicopters that have main blades that turn clockwise, the torque is trying to make the helicopter turn to the left. So, the manufacturers set the tail rotor so when you pull on that rod, it'll give it right rudder and have a tendency to stretch the tail rotor control rod as opposed to pushing on it, which would have a tendency to bow that rod. So, normally you can check to make sure your rudder is going the right direction just by watching that control rod. And when you give it right rudder, it should go forward. But there are exceptions. The Blade 130X is backwards. When you give it right rudder, it pushes the rod to the back. That's a very light tail. Uh, I'm not sure why they did it that way, but that's the way they did it. But all the other helicopters, when you give it right rudder, that control rod should go forward. Now we're going to make sure that the radio is set up right. So that when you give it right rudder, it actually gives it right rudder. So turn on your transmitter and then your receiver. Let the helicopter sit still while the gyro initializes. And once it initializes, give it right rudder. And set your tail blades like this. And when you give it right rudder, that leading edge should go to the left. And you can see this leading edge is going to the right. That's wrong. So we need to reverse it in the radio. Don't worry about the gyro yet. Get it right in the radio. So go to your reverse function. And if it's normal, change it to reverse. If it's reverse, change it to normal. But get it to behave like this. Right, left. Right rudder, leading edge goes left. Now we're going to see if the gyro is operating properly. As if it's reversed, your helicopter is going to spin like a ceiling fan even while it's on the ground. So we got to get that right. As you move the nose of the helicopter to the left, the leading edge of that tail blade should move to the left. And as you can see, it's moving to the right. And that's wrong. So if that's the case, you're going to have to reverse the gyro. And you don't do this in the transmitter. Usually you do it in your gyro. Like 401's got this little switch. A real simple gyro, you might have to turn it upside down and stick it back on your helicopter. The micro beast, you use the rudder stick and the setup step F, and uh, you flip the switch. The status light tells you it's reversed. But whatever you do, just reverse the gyro and check it again. When you give nose left, the leading edge of that tail blade goes left. That makes the nose go right. Well, there you go. So in the next video, we're going to talk about gyro gain. Be sure to watch that one.